Hey guys, this is Uvashesh Mishra. Today we will learn another Python program. We will see how to write a Python program so we can print Fibonacci series. So first of all you need to understand what is Fibonacci series, right? So Fibonacci series is a series in which next number is a sum of previous two numbers. What that means? Fibonacci series is a series in which next number is a sum of previous two numbers. So, let me explain you more, right? So, it will always start from 0. So, your Fibonacci series will always start from 0, okay? Then it will be 1, okay? Then what will happen? It will be like sum of the, the this number, whatever number we will write now, it will be sum of previous two numbers. So, 0 plus 1, what it will be? So, 0 plus 1, it will be 1, okay? So, how the series is going 0 1 then 1 what will be the next number it will be sum of these two number right 1 and 1 so what will write 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 okay then what will be the next number again it will be sum of this and this right so what we can write 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 then what will write it will be sum of this number and this number so it will be 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. What will be the next one? Again, it will be sum of this and this which will be 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Similarly, what will be the next one? 5 plus 8 is equal to 13. Right. Similarly, if you want to add again 13 plus 8 equal to 21. So, like that it will continue. Right. So, a Fibonacci series is a series in which next number is sum of your previous two numbers. So, how it will look? If we will just write, it will look like this 0, then 1, then again 1, then again uh, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13 and so on, right? It will continue. So, how many numbers you want to write? Till what number you can write? For example, 10 uh, Fibonacci series you want to write for 10 numbers, right? You can write for 10 different numbers. Here we have written 3, 6, only for 8 digits, 8 numbers, okay? So, let us see how we can write it through a program, okay? Through a Python program, okay? So, first of all, what we will do? We will take one number, okay? So, let us take n, n is a variable and we will assign 5 to it, n equal to 5, okay? Then we will take another two variable the first we will take one variable name as first and then we will take another variable name as second and we will assign some value to it. We will assign 0 and 1. So, we are assigning 0 to this first and 1 to this second variable. Okay. Then what we will do? We will write for loop. Okay. So, what we will say here? For i in range what will say 0 to n n is the number right for i in range 0 to n then what will say we will write some if loop right if if condition i is lesser than or equal to 1 what will say will say we'll take another variable okay let's take it as result okay result is equal to i okay then what will say if then will say else if this condition will not match and we'll go to the next one don't worry i will explain you everything like in in all other programs right how i'll explain in the end everything here also i'll explain you everything in the end don't worry we'll write result is equal to we have two variables right first plus second okay result is equal to first plus second then what we will say first is equal to result okay similarly second is equal to sorry first equal to second we will say first equal to second and second equal to result okay then what you will do you will print it okay print result 
Okay. Before to that you can just write one more thing. So, here you can just write print it will just to look good right print Fibo Nessi series okay. something like this you can write and let us execute. Now, we are trying to execute for till 5 numbers right n equal to 5 we have given let me execute see what it is giving it is giving Fibonacci series are 0 1 1 2 3 ok. So, you will see 1 2 3 4 5 numbers ok. What we will do we will write it in the one line. So, if you want to write it in the one line. So, here it is you can see right it is printing in the next line. So, if you want it to print in the same line what you can do you can just write print uh, result here you can write end uh, equal to you can give a space here. Okay. So, let me execute yeah see now it is showing you right I can give a okay. Fine, yeah. So you can write it in this way, so it will print it in only in one line. Okay. So what we did here, let's understand that, right? So we have taken one number, so n, n is basically how many number you want to print. For example, you want to print ten different numbers, right? So I'll just put it ten and let me run Fibonacci series. See, here it is printing till thirty-four, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 different numbers ok. If I will put till 8 see it is printing till 13 ok. So, let us understand how this program is working right that is more important ok. So, here we have taken one variable n and we have assigned the value as 8. So, basically this n whatever value will assign right till that number our Fibonacci series will print. So, here you can see 8 different uh, till the number 8 we have Fibonacci series like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Then we have two again two different variables one is first and one is second and we have assigned 0 and 1 to it. So, for the first we have assigned 0 and for the second we have assigned 1. Then we are writing a print statement print Fibonacci series r that is what you are seeing here and then what we are doing here we are starting a for loop for i in range 0 to n. So, i value will start from 0 because we will start it from here right 0 the Fibonacci series will, will always start from 0 and then the uh, range we are giving as n because n is the number till which we want to print it right. So, n is the we have taken the i range as 0 to n and here we are writing if i is less than equal to 1. So, inside the for loop we are writing one if condition if i is less than equal to 1. So, now what is the i value i value is equal to 0 right. So, here we are telling if 0 is less than equal to 1 the condition is matching. So, we are printing result equal to i what it means a result became result value became i which is nothing but 0 sorry 0 ok and then once this if block ends it will not go inside else right because if condition matched then it will come here it will print result basically it will print this 0 ok and then the loop will go here again to the for loop right i value will be 1 again if i is less than equal to 1 1 is less than equal to 1 yes the condition is matching. So, result equal to i means result equal to 1 basically now result became 1 again it will not go inside the else loop and it will come here and it will print result which is 1. So, this 1 got printed ok. Now, again the loop will come here and the i value will be 2 ok. So, if 2 is less than equal to 1 no condition is not matching. So, it will come to the else block ok. Here what will happen else result equal to first plus second. So, what is the first and second value now? First value is 0 and second value is equal to 1 now sorry here it is right the first value is 0 and second value is 1 this is what we have assigned previously right when we have taken the variables. So, result equal to first plus second that means we got the value as 0 plus 1 which is nothing but 1 ok first value is 0 second value is 1 0 plus 1 equal to 1 then what we will do then we will come here first equal to second what is the first value first value is equal to second we are telling. 
So, second value became second value was 1 previously right. So, we will assign 1 here. So, basically in the uh, variable of first we assign the value of second which is 1 and in the second variable we are assigning the value as the result which is 1 that is why this value will be 1 now. Now, we will print the result what is the result now result value is 1. So, that is why this 1 got printed now it will come here i value will be 3 this condition will not match it will come here result equal to first plus second what is the first value first value is 1 second value is 1. So, result value will be 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 then first is equal to second what is the second value second value is equal to 1. So, first value became 1 ok then second value is equal to record result what is the result value result value is equal to 2. So, second value became 2 and now what we are printing we are printing result. So, this 2 got printed you are seeing this 2 got printed again the loop will come here now the i value will be 3 ok. Now, this condition will not match it will come here result equal to first plus second what is the first plus second value 2 and 1. So, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 now first is equal to second what is the second value second value is 2 here right. So, it will come here and the value is 2 and what is the second value second value is equal to result which is 3 ok. So, you saw 3 here now what you print you print result result is nothing but 3. So, this 3 got printed again the loop will come here ok the i value will be 4 and now it will not this this condition will not match it will come here result equal to first plus second first is 2 second is 3. So, it will come as 5 and first equal to second it means first value will be 3 second value will be result it means 5 ok and then we will print result which is nothing but 5. Similarly, the loop will continue and again here 5 plus 3 it will be 8 again 8 plus 5 it will be 13 basically we are adding two numbers and then we are assigning in first place the second number and in the second place the result ok. So, in that way we are finding the total uh, series of result ok that is why we are telling it to sum of previous two numbers is the next number ok. So, this is how you can write a Fibonacci series ok if you do not want to give it here if you do not want to uh, write directly like this right you can just do a input. So, you can write int ok input and you can say enter a number ok and if you will execute. So, here you can enter a number for example, 8 again see it got printed ok. So, this is how you can use and this is how you can write Fibonacci series program ok. I hope this video is helpful for you if you like this video please press the like button share it with your friends and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.